I bet you've never heard of an oubliette. The name came from a French term that is meant to forget. It was a specialized type of dungeon. The only entrance was a trap door at the very top. And it was deep enough so whoever was inside the oubliette could not reach the door. It also was incredibly narrow. So whoever was inside couldn't sit down. They couldn't even kneel without their knees pressing against the wall. Not to mention, it wasn't uncommon for someone to break bones when they were thrown into the oubliette. So imagine breaking your leg and having no way to support yourself. So your full weight is constantly leaning on that broken bone. So you're forced to just stand there. Only thing you could do was raise your head to look up, but there was no way to reach the exit. Now some oubliettes were a little more cruel than others. Some were placed in certain parts of the castle so that whoever was trapped inside the oubliette had to listen to those who were hustling and bustling around above them. They also could smell the food that was being cooked. And the whole time they're starving in the oubliette. So they'd be forced to stand there for days to weeks until they starved. And once they finally perished, their body was left to be devoured by vermin. So imagine this. You're thrown into an oubliette and there's already piles of bones beneath your feet because they never cleaned them out. Some also had spikes in the bottom, others had jagged rocks. It's definitely a very dehumanizing way to go.